All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and this is what part eight, I think. Yeah. And well, let's just go ahead and hop into it. And again, I apologize for being gone so long. It's just I have a very tough schedule when I s sleep all day and I work all night. So yeah, so we're back in it. And if you haven't seen uh, the video I posted before this uh, about um, the update coming to the game called um, Delta Rising, which is a full expansion. Um, and pretty much what's going to happen is we get a level cap increase to level 60. Um, our captains have the ability to get new abilities, skill sets, I guess you could say. Like if you're a tactical captain, I guess you can be part tactical with a medical type thing going on. I don't know. They didn't really specify that. We're waiting on more information on that to come out soon. So, oh, and there's going to be new ships and there's going to be new uh, bridge uh, setups and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So I'm actually looking forward to that. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, just leave in the comments below what you think. You know, you think it's going to be bad? You think it's going to be good? Or is it fresh air coming to the game pretty much? Something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to check my mail because I think it was Fire Dragon. Yeah, Fire Dragon's been sending me all kinds of stuff. And he cracked a joke at me. Where is it at? I just looked at all these because I just got back. Where is it at? P.S. It was like seeing a kid open Christmas presents when you got the first bundle. LOL. Smiley face. I see how it is. You want to crack jokes at me, huh? Well, I thought it was cool. I've never had anybody just send me stuff randomly like that, and I thought it was really nice. But I'm just messing with you. Thank you very much. I actually do appreciate this. It uh, saves money for my other characters so they can use it um, towards the fleet and everything because that's what they do. They farm for the most part, and they give every they put everything to the fleet. Just give it to me. Give it to me. What do I have to do to take the items? Is this going to be... Oh, is it because it's level whatever and I can't pick it up yet? Or did it just because I used that? Oh, it's because it... Dude. Kind of moron am I. Alright. Let's see. How far does it go? Item sold in the exchange. Okay, I can delete that real quick. I should report it as spam. <laughs> Give me those. Give me those. And we'll go over this stuff soon. Once I put it on my ship. And again, I think I say this too much, but uh, this is awesome. And thank you, because... Oh, I might end up using those. Those are going to be awesome. You said you're a crafter. Uh, uh oh, inventory's full. These have snare. If you think it is cool, use them. If not, please return them. But I do not want anything else back. The market is shit. Okay. <laughs> I am just glad someone uses this stuff. Best of luck. P.S. Again. Here we go. I am level. I am level 12 beams, 11 cannon, and 10 shields, and about four to five in all the other schools. Cool. I have no idea what the other what school what schools mean because I haven't gotten the R and D yet. But I need to empty out my inventory. I got too much crap. No, not now. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, store, sell. Don't need that or that. I want to try and keep it green and above for right now. I'm not really worried about anything else. What kind of engines am I running on the br? Okay, I got to mark two engines on the bri so I can sell them. Don't need that. Ooh, keep that. I don't know what that is. Uh, keep all that stuff. I'll put it in the bank. I don't need Klingon Targ Heart. I don't use power cells. Um, I keep the hypos, but I don't use power cells. I try to go all out and be all as powerful as possible on the ground, so I don't need them. Um, I don't really use shield batteries either. Since I'm usually running as a tactical officer, I try to go as fast as possible. Save green, keep the green, 
sell the white or clear, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so there's some space. Okay, what are my beams looking like? Oh, got tier one beams. Gotta replace them. Here, tier two. Yeah. Alright, so now we got a tier two beam up front. Sell that. And I've got all this stuff now. Woo! Girl. Yeah. Alright. So we got some he gave us some tier two shields and stuff, personal shields. So let's drop off all the the other stuff that I don't use. Did I sell that? Oh man. No, oh, whatever. Okay, so keep that. Yeah, I'll keep all this stuff on me. Put that in there, double click, double click. This makes things faster. Can't use any of it. What is this? Covariant. Is that a covariant? Regenerative. Um, 114.6 every 6 seconds. 82.5 every 6 seconds. Oh, it's a tough decision. <sighs> oh, well. I'll figure it out, I guess. What boy? Oh, your band-aid came off. That's fine. It's all right. Here, let me see it. You don't need it. It's fine. You're okay. It's okay. Go. My kid decided that he wanted to climb up into our hall closet. It's got really large doors, and they're really heavy. And he closed the door on his big toe. So, yeah. <laughs> and he thought he was in trouble just now because his band-aid came off. That's fine. Alright, so, I think what's going to happen... These are turrets, right? Yeah, these are turrets. Uh, weren't these the ones? I'm pretty sure these are the ones you said you wanted back. Uh, let's put these. Can I put those in the bank? No. I gotta carry those around with me? Really? Can I do. Th no. Damn it. Alright. So. Duh. I think I'm gonna use the covariant. What is it? Regen times two. Disruptor. Well, since we're going against Klingons, that'll be perfect. Is this disruptor? No. Okay. We'll hang on to that for now. Or if uh, Fire Dragon, is that your name? Yeah. If Fire Dragon wants his shield bag, let me know. And if you don't, um, if anybody is playing this game and you're making a new character, um, I guess let me know and I'll send you the stuff I don't use. I don't know. If... That's all right with the dragon man. Okay, I think that's everything. Our inventory is pretty much clear for the most part. Can I put that stuff in there? All right. I don't want to carry around that. Um, the Azura's personal comm code. I don't use it, but that right there, if you put it on your ship in the device slots or something like that and put it in uh, the power bar in the bottom or whatever, your ability bar, you can call the Azura and you can buy stuff from her and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, but I don't use it, so... Uh, I think that's everything. Alright, so I'm going to outfit my ship with what he gave me that I can use for now. Which is the shields, which is going to be awesome. Well, it's going to do the covariant. I'll sell those in a minute. And let's do my captain here. Disruptor, we definitely want to put disruptor damage stuff on him. And you. And you. Because... Bridge officers are the ones that definitely need protection from stuff like that. Or tactical officers. Now that man, none of y'all had shields. Wow. I think you're the only one that won't have shields because I don't have any more to give. Yep. I would buy new ones, but it's kind of pointless. Alright, now th this is one of those things where... Well, th this episode in general is pr pretty much going to suck because I'm not really doing much for leveling, but I am doing my best to try and show you guys some cool stuff, like how to do this and that. Oh, look, C button, that's how you crouch. But I don't use it. All right, like I said before, we're going to sell the stuff we're not going to use anymore like that. See, everything costs zero because I got it off of a character, and it was their standard gear. I'm probably not going to use those pistols. Yeah, I'll use them for now. I'll use them for now. 
I'm not using it, but somebody else can. Take that. Take. You take. Are they locked? What are they? No, they're just in my inventory. Yeah, you take that one. Okay. You don't need to carry around a bat lift. That was kind of stupid. Um. Take the full auto rifle, and you got that. Okay, we're all good. We're good. Let's take this stuff out of my inventory, and we're going to go straight to space and do our next mission. We'll save those. I don't know why, but we're going to save them. Okay, we got to go to the Regulus system again. Beaming up. Oh, man. It has been a while. I had to try to remember the proper way to do buttons and everything. It's only been like four days. Jesus. Okay, so. Oh, and uh, just an update for everybody as well. Coming September, I will be moving into an apartment. So for a few days there, I'm not going to have internet. But as soon as I get it up and running, I'll be doing videos again. And the reason... I'm moving because I'm sure some of the higher ranked people from my fleet are going to be watching this and they're going to be wondering why I'm, I'm moving. Well, it's because my wife and kids are moving home and I am slowly getting out of the military. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am in the military. So, I'm going to be staying in an apartment while they go ahead and go home and do what they need to get done. Well, my wife, because my son's only two. <laughs> There's not much he can do at home. Except for play. Stub his toe on giant doors. Alright. So, since we got new toys, let's see how they handle. I don't know how well that'll be, but I'm hoping it'll be pretty well. Let's hit the big guy first. Destroy Orion blockade groups. Simple enough. All right, here we go. Hit him with that. Take his shields down a little bit. Oh, that didn't do much. Luckily, my shields are pretty good. All right, swing around and start broadsiding. Keep swinging. Stay on his down shield side. And boom. You're done. Spam the F key. And get ready to fight again. Alright, he's not going to have a good day here in a second. Target shield has failed. Damn. Alright. Oh, and Fire Dragon, when you said that the market is shit, it is shit. I agree. It used to be a lot different than that. Now everything that's in boxes sell like hotcakes and everything else you can't sell for nothing anymore because it's not uh, elite gear. The guys who were crafters were the ones who made the most money in the game. Hands down. You can make so much money off of being a crafter, but nowadays it's psh, whatever. Crafting is just an extra thing that you can do in the game if you're bored most of the time. Or unless you don't want to spend money on getting gear and you just want to have good gear right off the bat, then crafting is a brilliant idea. But other than that, I, I really don't see uh, reasons for myself to do crafting. Because, one, I'm lazy. <laughs> Two, I don't really care much for... Uh, farming for material is just a craft. I mean, it's not my thing. But, yeah, crafters used to ha make so much freaking money. Oh, it was ridiculous how much money you can make off of crafting alone in this game. But now it's difficult if you're a crafter to make money. I think the Aegis set's like the only thing you can really craft and make money off of anymore. Is that how you say it? Is it Aegis or Aegis? I don't know. But. 
yeah, crafting was always a good thing. But now it's not so much. Uh, ready to be down? Give me a. Oh, this is new. I'm cursing immediate assistance. Okay. So Klingons are taking hostages. That was a new little uh, picture, but I'm pretty sure I know what the mission is. If I'm correct, we're going to go down here and we're going to start whooping ass on some. Yeah, and hiding in the bushes. Ooh. Oh yeah, Red Bull at 1.30 in the afternoon. What's the situation? Alright, here we go. Let's go hurt some people. Grenade out! Boom. Didn't see that coming, did you? Spamming, spamming. Always be sure to flank people. Alright. Now, sometimes these missions suck, and it doesn't really explain to you very well what you're supposed to be doing. So what we're doing right now is we're defusing, supposed to be defusing bombs. There's one over here. Now I'm going to try and avoid these people. And throw. Alright, grenades aren't as powerful as they used to be. That's okay. My gun is. Get him to face me. Shoot him in the back. Yeah. What are they doing? Oh, they're just, whatever. Oh god. Red wire. Storm bomb. Scared me. Whew. That's new. It used to be you just walk up to it and it had like a little uh, timer thing and it w he would do it himself. Why is this guy not dying? Am I lagging? There's no way I could be lagging right now. I even cut the graphics down for that one planet. Alright, so follow these arrows and we're going to find the bombs. I'm glad they actually fixed this mission up a little bit because it used to be a lot more difficult than that. There was no arrows and you had to find the damn things yourself. So, that took forever to turn this mission from being like a 15-20 minute mission to a mission that took hours on end for me almost because I couldn't find anything. There was no arrows, no nothing. It sucked. Now it's a lot easier. Plus I've done it so many times. I remember where everything is. Alright. Cut wires. Uh, Green and red wires. Green. Red. Don't blow up in my face. Alright. Going to the next one. And throw. And fire. <laughs> kind of sounds like one of those uh, workout uh, videos you say. And up. And down. And up. And down. And kick. <laughs> and kick and thrust. And kick and thrust. Okay. Green. Oh, God. Whoa. Green. Orange. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell was it? Regrowing wires? What the hell was that about? Okay, ooh, what is it? I'm, d I'm not gonna pick up crap anymore. Nah, it doesn't sell for anything, and I don't use it. Alright, so we can skip all of that. Hey, they put a, they put new stuff in here. This looks a lot better. Used to be a very long hill that went way over there. Now, you can tell me it's not there, but I can tell you filled it in with a whole bunch of crap. The building used to be over there. Now I know it. You can't fool me. And it wasn't this nice either. This is pretty cool. I like it. I like all the little updates that they did for the missions. I never really... I forgot that they did that. Like I remember them saying that they did in the... Um, blogs or whatever from the developers. But I never really paid much attention to it. So yeah, I'll see it eventually maybe. Helping somebody else. Green and orange. Green. Orange. Disarm. No more growing wires. Morale. Paris. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, if anybody doesn't know who this is, this is Marat Paris. This is, uh, Tom, what'd you say? Tom Paris and whatever. Tom Paris and Bellana Torres. If you don't know who they are, they are from the Voyager series. And if you watch the Voyager series like I did, because it's my favorite, um, this was their kid that they had when they got pretty much back to the Alpha Quadrant. So we're going to skip that. Okay, we already did that. So sometimes this is going to happen where it'll pull up a dialogue box and it's going to be like, it's going to say the same thing. You're going to have to exit out of it to be able to go to the next part of the mission. It's just a slight glitch. Nothing too major. That's alright. I'm not too worried about it. So, spam the F key, enter the embassy. This is a really nice looking building. I wonder if it looks the same on the inside as it used to. Mm, okay. Nope. Looks nothing like it used to. I'm gonna turn my graphics back up as soon as I kill these guys, because it looks ugly. Zap. Come on, come on. In case you guys couldn't tell, I'm very impatient. Plus, I'm making a video and I'm trying to sh cram stuff into it as much as possible. Alright. Options. I want to jump my graphics back up because I do not I do not like the low quality. Jump it back up to high. I like it on high. Apply. Okay. And it's laggy. All this new stuff they put into the missions and stuff. My video card just hates it now. It used to handle all this stuff pretty easily. But now it is not too happy about this new stuff. Oh, that was pretty talk to him okay so if you want the you get the diplomats out and stuff I have to look for them now because I don't know exactly where they will be even though it has markers on them okay so it is just four okay if I remember correctly it was more than that before is this door open so I can go ahead and clear it out no all right we're gonna go in here Grenade out! Alright. They got me. Alright, so there's a diplomat on the floor there. Oh god. It's one of these guys. Watch out for their freaking pistols. It's stupid. Look at me, you stupid. You see me? Grenade out! Yeah, these guys are freaking ridiculous. They're pretty much like bosses for Klingons. They suck. I hate them. Now, you can scan that if you want. I'm not worried about getting, uh, uh, replicating materials or, um, whatever it's called. Um, what is this? Yeah, I'll take it. Whatever. You know. I'm not looking to get, uh, crafting materials. There you go. Always watch out for these lockers and stuff because it'll have good gear in it and stuff like that. Or stupid small hypos. <sighs> or you'll get hypos. You never know. But usually sometimes it'll have like really decent gear in them and everything like that. So that's what I always watch out for. Explosions! Evaporating people! I can't see him. Come on. There we go. I want to get this little knife that they keep coming at me with. I wonder if I can get that. If anybody knows if I can get that little knife that Klingons run around with, I want to put it on my main captain. So I can run around like the Dyson Sphere area and start cutting up Voth and stuff. With a knife. So we got another Dahar Master. These guys suck. Just die, man. Nobody cares for you. They left you here to die. Okay, come on, guys. Don't run around him. Stay behind him. Keep flanking him. I am going to die. Hi, Bo. Ha. All right. Got a rare drop. Plasma dual pistols. What else did you drop? 
Uh, disruptor sniper rifle. Disruptor weapons, in my opinion, are my favorite sometimes. Anti proton with die hard anti proton guy because anti protons are the strongest weapons in the game. You can't argue with that. I mean, uh, from my standpoint, in my opinion, anti proton weapons are the best. Hands down. I love them. But right up, right up their ass, so to speak, is Disruptor to me because they're super strong. Uh oh. See? They always come in threes, usually. That one time is the first time I ever saw them not in threes. There's one down. You can't stop me, man. You might as well just give up. Explosions! Alright. Let's go defeat this guy, too. Raptors are a little bit harder than the birds of prey, okay? It goes birds of prey, raptors, and then their uh, cruisers, and then carriers. If you ever run into one of their carriers, you're definitely fighting a boss in a PvE match. If you ever run into an adapted Borg carrier that they kidnapped or stole from the Klingons, then you definitely want to watch out because those things are dangerous. Come on. Ugh, that's another thing I hate about raptors. They're a lot faster than their smaller friends, the birds of prey, and they're harder to hit. Four I'm trying to work his shields down so I can hit him from every side. If you're running into a target like this, just keep circling them if you can. Work their shields down. Shield. And... Hope you can hit them because they, they suck. They just move too fast and they have a lot more health. Especially when you're first starting out and everything. Get that off my screen. Whenever a prompt or a dialect type thing pops up where they want to talk to you and you're right next to a ship that's about to explode, spam the F key and get it off there so you can get out of there. Uh, Klingon Empire wish me with Kubamog on Regulus. However, another of my empire's ambassadors, Vavat, leads a noble house that is the enemy of my family. Vavat has used this opportunity to plot my death. Okay. Okay, help Koss defeat Vavat. Birds of prey! Prey on this. One down. I love this little ship, it's so cool. But I can't wait to get the next level of ships so I can get that cruiser. I love cruisers. Love them. They're my favorite. Woo! Alright, Admiral Bavant. So we gotta go up here and steal, well not steal, but damage his ship. It's not gonna let you kill him. And as you can see, he's flying a much larger ship and these, this thing is going to be a lot harder to kill than the last few ships we've been killing. So... Or maybe not, since he's sitting still. He does hit a little bit harder though. This is going a lot easier than I thought it would. Yep, and I think he's leaving. He's just not letting me shoot at him. You leaving? You calling it quits? It seems you have won this time. Ah, whatever. You're a douchebag. Nobody likes you, and everybody knows it. Alright, so we're good to depart this system. Yay! Alright. So, if you've been waiting on me to do these uh, videos so you can do missions, I apologize. I will have these pumped out as fast as possible. We don't want to engage the enemy. We want to hill Starfleet. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Oh, thank you. Alright, we're level 9. Sweet. Next time we level up, we'll be getting a ship. So... 
Let's take this mission. Now, let's see if this is going to mess up on us and spin us around in circles. I love it when it when that happens. No? Okay, this is one that isn't broken. Okay, so another little trick if you want to level up even faster you can hit all these systems that's in between you and your next mission and you might be wondering well why would I do that well being on Starfleet most of these systems you can go to patrol them and they'll give you just as much if not uh, more um, experience points let's see what happens than your normal missions um, now I, don't, I haven't done this in a while so we're gonna see what happens just just you know so we know for future reference come on come on I'm gonna cry you're gonna hear a grown man cry you better hurry up and load like you can hear me uh, well so yeah what I what I used to do is in between missions every planet on my way to my next planet for a mission I would uh, patrol it do a patrol mission and the patrol missions uh, would give me like 2,000 experience points or more and I think the least amount I saw was like 500 just because all I had to do was go over and uh, turn on a satellite because the satellite was broken which that one was kind of like Shh, really but what I used to do is this let's see so we rendezvous with the Marek which is a little escort okay we rendezvoused now what okay he's gonna talk to us I've done this one before it's usually sometimes the same mission just on different planets I'm like they, they don't even have shields why did I click that <laughs> alright so we're gonna destroy these turrets alright eliminate outer defenses so we're gonna eliminate these Klingon defenses. Come on. They're pretty weak, but you know. It's whatever. Come on. Main thing is I wanna see how much I'm, how many points I'm gonna get for it. I would just look right now, but I'm a little preoccupied. Cause if they dumb down this right here then they completely killed my leveling up plan all right come on come on let's go Bri and you're dead Whee! eliminate base defenses where's the base defenses okay up here. Before I do that, let's look. Uh, in progress. Hana patrol system. Yeah, they dumbed it down. You guys suck. Yeah, well, let's finish it up. I guess. Come on. Fire him. There you go. Is that little ship going to help me or not? Is he just going to camp out? This could go so much faster if he was helping me. Sit still, stupid. No speedy, speedy zoom zoom for you. Alright. Hit him hard. One more good hit with a torpedo and he's done. So let's get on this side of him. Base of maneuvers. Twist, fire. Alright, there's one. Hold well, integrity went down a little bit. Let's beef up our shielding. These guys will be easier to kill than the last one. Oh, nope, I don't want to scan that. Run! I changed my mind. I got disruptor beams too. Oh, that's just not cool. So yeah, what I used to do is I would hit every system in between. Now you can still do the same thing. It's not as many points as I thought it would be, but I think they've 
uh, dropped how many points you need to level up because I remember missions being like 4,000 points and stuff like that at this level. Hmm. That's a little upsetting, but yeah, well, it makes sense since pretty much um, it used to be where you had to do other stuff to be able to level up, but now you can just do the story missions and you'll level up just fine. You'll hit a level every time you do a mission, but it's just kind of one of those things where I would just run around and hit the uh, patrols in between planets because they didn't give you enough, nowhere near enough points to uh, level up then, but now you do. Alright, we're jamming uh, Klingon, whatever we call it, communications. Now we need to stop this guy. How'd that feel? Are you paying attention to me now like you're supposed to be? Hi. How are you? Here's a Vortia battle cruiser. These, guys, these things aren't too bad, but they're a lot more powerful, I think, than the uh, Bavat ship. I don't remember what their names are called. I think it's not the Katinga. I don't know. It's not the Katinga. Mm. Somebody post in the comments if you know what the name of that ship was, because I'm drawing a blank and I don't feel like looking it up. Like I said, I'm lazy. So, all right. So we're providing cover. I think we're done with the coverness. Let's just stop. Heal. So we're gonna sit here and talk for 30 seconds so how's everyone doing good that's good I can't hear a word you're saying because you're watching my video <laughs> okay all dumbness aside I'm assuming this guy's coming to meet us so let's go meet him first oh wait just in case ah, damn auto target all right, are you done, man? All right, we can depart the system. Okay. Well, that was kind of a waste of time, but I planned on making this a longer video, so we'll do this. Finish this up here. Pop my fingers. And we'll go ahead and hail him. Get our. Ugh. I've never liked this guy. He's just weird looking. He's got a really fat face and squinty eyes. Congratulations. Oh, well, we leveled up anyways. So maybe it will work. Alright, so we can we can do a promotion. We can go get our, get promoted and get another five hundred and forty experience points. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Earth Space Dock. Transwarping, get a new ship, deck it out and cool stuff. I don't know what level of gear I'm allowed to use now. I think it's three and four, maybe. Hopefully, since I got all this stuff Fire Dragon sent me, and I can use it. Come on. Let's go. Speed it up now. We're going to go talk to whoever his name is. The Admiral Quinn. Eh, I think that's who we're talking to. Yeah, we gotta go to report to Admiral Quinn's office. We'll go talk to Admiral Quinn. Uh. Whoa. All right, Quinn. Let's talk. Okay, so we gotta go down to the shipyard now. We got a free costume change, which that doesn't matter because you get that anyways since they updated that I think they need to take that out of the missions but if you are a veteran member a gold subscriber or a lifetime subscriber you get uh, free respect tokens every time you complete missions and stuff like that like that one whenever you get to a certain level I think it's every time you get a new rank so Let's go talk to her. She said, uh, congratulations on making Lieutenant Commander. Blah, blah, blah. Get a new starship. Browse selection. Anyways, you can, uh, whatever it was. 
You get a re free respect token, which respect tokens are used to respect your uh, captain's skills. What do you got? Three, four weapons. This would be ideal for right now. Hmm. Three, four weapons and one aft. Uh, man. So hard to choose. Do I have this? I do have that. Ha! I got it for free. Oh my goodness, Eli. Hush. I'm trying to talk to the peoples here. Don't grunt at me. Okay, so I'm going to use this instead. Because I think it comes with the console too. But if you're going to use these ships... Um, if you are a tactical officer, I do recommend this for now, or any officer, because it'll help you get through the missions a lot faster. And once you reach level 40, I think it's 40, let's look, pretty sure level 40 is the last one. Yeah. We'll do that. Once you get to level 40, you can get a different ship. But for right now, I'm going to get this ship... And then I'm going to call it quits here and immediately start recording. I have things to do today, so I have a new ship, and we'll hop back into it later. Uh, just like always, show your support, comment, uh, subscribe, and um, whatever it was. Hit the like button. Yeah, that one. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.